结果就二百多块钱了，能借来二百块钱？啊，厉害不？ I felt headache. I felt cold. I felt nauseated. I felt constipated. I had diarrhea. I had a little cough overnight. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Yesterday, I took the Corona virus vaccine as made by Sinopharm of China. And today, I want to tell you why I took the vaccine. The process of taking the vaccine, especially as a foreigner in China. And lastly, I want to tell you guys the side effects about this vaccine. Stay tuned. Now there's a misconception about some vaccines last uh, having 90% efficacy, others having 60% efficacy. The coronavirus vaccine, none of them is going to prevent you from getting a virus, no. But all of them, they're going to make sure that if you get the virus, you don't get, you don't die and you don't get critically ill in the hospital. So every single vaccine in the world now, think about it, all the vaccines, they guarantee that you're not going to die. So that is what we are looking for. Even the Pfizer vaccine, there's still, a, there's still a very good chance that it's still going to get the virus. It's not going to 100% protect you. So why did I get that vaccine? Because I don't want to die. And I don't want to en endanger people that are close to me, right? The next reason why I got the vaccine, especially the Chinese Sinopharm vaccine, is because the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine as made by, in, that is used in America and Europe, that vaccine the process, the mRNA vaccine has never, ever, 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 ever been tried on human beings. That kind of, that process of making vaccine has never been tried on human beings. So, everybody taking that vaccine is in like in a very huge, a very gigantic trial, you know, billions of people taking the doses. Never been tried before. Now, the Chinese, other, the Chinese vaccine uses, uses uh, uh, the Chinese vaccine it's an inactivated virus vaccine, which means that they took the virus, they killed it, and they put it in your body. And the body learned how to attack the real virus when it comes. You understand? So that process, inactivated virus vaccine, is the safest of all viruses, of all vaccines rather, in the world right now. So that was why I took it, because it's the safest. All right? The other reason why I took the vaccine now is because I watched a documentary by BBC about India and a lot of people were dying and they were smoking I mean rather they were they were born and be the dead bodies and there was this smoke in the sky billowing into the heavens you know it was crazy man when I saw that when I saw that documentary man I was like no 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 I don't want to have this again and then the other reason about this vaccine is that I'm just tired okay I'm tired of masks I'm tired of this virus I'm tired of everything I just want to get away it that's why that's one of the reasons why I took it so that's why As a foreigner in China, the process of taking the vaccine involves you bringing your ID card, basically your passport, also bringing your medical insurance. But if you are from the list of 20 countries, you don't need medical insurance, you can get the vaccine for free. All right? So you need your medical insurance, you need your passports, and then you need to bring your consent form. So when you bring all those things, you can get the vaccine. However, in my case, the guy that was, there was something funny happened. The guy that was um, inputting the names, okay, you know, they'll take your details before they ask you to go for the vaccine. That guy, he saw that I was a foreigner and he couldn't speak any word of foreign language, right? English, basically. And then he was like, no, it's not going to allow me to take the, the virus. He doesn't know how to deal with me. That he doesn't have the expertise to enter my name in English. <sighs> and he said I should get out. And I've been on this queue from 7.30 and it's now almost 12.30. And the guy said no that I, I, I cannot get the vaccine I cannot get the vaccine that I should just you know move. So I needed to go and call another nurse and the nurse talked to the boss and the boss talked to someone else and then the the the, the, the nun came around and started filling the form for me and showing me what I need to put in. But eventually anyway I had to be the one to type my names and my details into the computer for myself like 
and later the guy told he told me to stand up, you know. <laughs> and then I went, I, I, I did it. So the other, that was the first hurdle. The next order I faced was that when I was there, I, the nurse that was giving the vaccine, she already uh, drew the, vac the vaccine into the injection, okay? And then she was just about to put it in my arm. And then I was like, um, I didn't see you do that. I didn't see you uh, peel the wrap from the injection. I didn't see you do that. You just, you just gonna, you just did that before, and then you just want to put it in my arm. I said, no, I'm not gonna take it. So she looked at me like, uh, I trust her, you know, but just in case. And then she, she basically wasted one dose of the vaccine, and then she went to bring another needle, and then she opened. It. She said, look, look at it, okay? And then she opened it. I said, yeah, and then she took it out, and then she drew the vaccine, and then I now brought in my arm, and then she gave me the vaccine, all right? After doing that, I went somewhere to sit down, basically, for 30 minutes, and uh, wait, but I didn't stay up to 30 minutes, all right? And, but there was an app tracking me, actually. <laughs> I didn't stay up straight, I didn't stay up to 30 minutes. Um, there was an app that can track how long you stayed at that place after the vaccine. So I left, maybe 10 minutes ago, I left, okay? And after 30 minutes of actually getting inoculated, okay, they updated my app. I have this app on my phone, which has this virus certificate. So they updated that function that I have been um, vaccinated, right? Yeah, so I have kind of a passport that I can use at least in China, right? And then they gave me two other documents that I can use to come back the next time for the next dose. And I can also use it when I travel out of the China to other parts of the country. So basically that was it, all right? So the next part. So the last part is the symptoms of this virus. What symptoms did I feel? What symptoms did I feel? I felt headache, I felt cold, I felt nauseated, I felt constipated, I had diarrhea, I had a little cough overnight and uh, I couldn't eat very well. Oh, sorry, it's all bullshit. I felt nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing, zero. Like, <laughs> I had zero, zero side effect, nothing at all. Not even a pain in my hand, I don't know, nothing. The only thing I can say that I felt um, was, uh, um, the only thing I can say I felt was the, was that my, my, my mouth became kind of uh, bitter, right? It's kind of normal if you take, if you just took a new injection or a new, um, what's it called, drug sometime, your mouth can feel bitter. That's the only side effect that I felt, if you can even call that a side effect. But apart from that, there's no side effect to this thing. Trust the process. Try and get your vaccine if you want, but I did my research, okay? I did my research and I, and I, then I realized that perhaps the best vaccine in the world, or okay, maybe not the best, but the safest vaccine in the world right now is in China. And that's why I took the Sinopharm vaccine approved by the World Health Organization. So I enjoy you to do the same and keep your family safe or keep yourself. Or if, if, you, if you keep your family safe, yeah, if you don't want to keep yourself safe, at least keep your family safe, you know. So that's why I took it. And so thank you guys. See you on the next one. If you have any question in the comment section, okay? If you have any question, just put it in the comment section. Straight up, I'm going to do that. So, so that's me. That's my experience. Uh, I'm going to go back after the second dose. Perhaps I'll give you guys another update. But for this first update, come on, there's nothing about this uh, vaccine, really. And besides, this is not the first time I'm taking a vaccine in China. So, I'm fine. See you guys. Take care.